Tonight we find out the four teams who will go to the semi-finals. Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today welcome to my Europa League quarter-final second leg predictions. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay then, and the first game comes from the Stadio Olimpico. It is a big game tonight. It is Roma versus Feyenoord. And of course, I, I did watch the first leg last week at the Stadion Feyenoord in Rotterdam. Um, or, or De Kuip, as it is known um, by by the Feyenoord fans. Um, but to be honest, I think the first leg was quite decent last week. Feyenoord won 1-0. Um, it was a half volley that went into the goal. I think it was a decent game. But Roma, um, for Roma, Dybala got injured last week and someone else, I think Tammy Abraham, got injured as well. I don't know if they're back fit for this game or not. Um, but of course, um, I actually didn't know this till like halfway during the game. There is actually no away fans for, for there was no away fans for last week's game and there's no um, away fans for tonight's game. And apparently it's because of, um, <clears throat> and apparently it's because of a, uh, stuff that's happened in the past between the two fans course the two teams played each other in 2015 there was fan problems and of course they played each other in the europa conference league final last season and there was a uh, trouble i think in torino city center because of course the final was in albania um but yeah for me i thought final played all right i thought i thought final played all right last week but it's going to be difficult for them they've got they've got no supporters inside the stadio olimpico this evening roma have got roma will have um, what's the word? Roma will be. Roma will have more like Roma will have more obviously supporters in the stadium because you know because the final fans aren't allowed in the stadium. Um, and yeah, but of course, final. I wanted up. I want to defend the lead. I probably want to get a goal or two, and then just want to sit back and defend for the rest of the game. But Roma want to go attack. They want to win the game. But for me, I am going to go Roma 2, Final 1. That means it will be 2-2 two, two on aggregate. And I think it will go to extra time. And I think Final will score in extra time. So my prediction is Roma 2, Final 2, after extra time. And that means Final will win 3-2 on aggregate. Okay, then and the next game is Sevilla versus Manchester United. And, of course, I also did watch the first leg of the game. I did watch the first leg last week at Old Trafford. And to be honest, Man United were brilliant. They were brilliant. They played fantastic. They dominated the game. Sevilla looked poor. But when Sevilla scored their first goal, Man United just went from here to all the way down here. They did not play well at all, Man United. And um, this, tie, this tie could go either way, to be honest. And uh, that the game last week just shows how good Sevilla are in the Europa League, and it shows and it just proves why they've won it six times, and it proves why they've got the best knockout stage record. And if they win the game tonight, if they win tonight, I think coming into the semi-final first leg, that'll be their fiftieth Europa League knockout stage appearance, which is just incredible. But yeah, for me, I think I think United will get the job done, even though um, it will be Maguire and Lindelof. And they weren't that good, the two the two of them against Forest. Um, but to be fair, Sevilla have struggled this season. Um, but when, when it's Europa League night, they are different. But I think Man United will nick this one. It'll be close. So I'm going to go Sevilla 1, Manchester United 2. That means that Manchester United will win 4-3 on aggregate. Okay, then, and the next game is Sporting Lisbon versus Juventus at the Estadio Jose Alvalde. I mean, also watched the first day last week. I watched both the Man United and the Sporting game at the same time. To be fair, the game was all right. Juve looked a bit boring. They didn't really know what they were doing. I thought Sporting played well. They created a few chances. But then, of course, I think in the 74th minute, the uh, Juventus player scored. Um, but but to be honest, Juventus, in, Juventus for me in the Freiburg game, they were, I didn't watch the Nantes game. But in the Freiburg game, I watched the first leg. I don't think they were that good. And the first leg last week, I don't think they were that good either. Um, but Sporting will want to go for this. But for me, my prediction is Sporting Lisbon 1, Juventus 1. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one, and that means Juventus will win 2-1 on aggregate. So 1-1, 2-1 Juve on aggregate. 
Okay then, and the final game is Union St. Julius versus Bayer Leverkusen. And of course, it's a big night for the Belgian side. Um, I can't, I don't even know the last time a Belgian side got to a semi-final of a European competition. But tonight, it's a big opportunity for Union St. Julius to do it. And it's also a big opportunity for Ghent and, uh, and Delect as well. Because of course, they're in the Conference League tonight um, as well. So we can have three Belgian teams in the European semi-final, which will be quite good to see. Um, but it's, it won't be easy for St. Julius. They're playing Leverkusen, who are a decent team. But I checked earlier, St. Julius have only lost one game at home this season, and that was in the group stages against Union Berlin. Um, Leverkusen, they're having a good season, but St. Julius, they'll want to win this. They'll want to get to the semi-final for me. I think they'll want it more than Leverkusen. So I'm going to go home advantage and go Union St. Julius 2, by Leverkusen won. 2-1 to St. Julius. That means Saint Union St. Julius will win 3-2 on aggregate. So there we go, guys. Those are my predictions. Do apologise for the video. It's a bit rushed. I've got training um, soon. I've got to go out in 20 minutes. I'm going to get the video out before I go to training. Yes, yeah, so that means I think Feyenoord will play Union St. Julius. And that means I think it will be Man United Juve semi-final. And um, the winner... Of the Europa League for me, you'll find out when I predict the final. Goodbye.